Hi, I'm Max, a member of this year's organizing committee. Right now, I'm at the University of St. Gallen, where today we would have welcomed all of you to our anniversary symposium. We are already looking forward to welcome you to the 50th St. Gallen Symposium in May 2021. But before we meet again, we want to take you on a journey about dialogue in these special times. Enjoy. Hi there, welcome to the virtual St. Gallen Symposium site. It is an honor to have Ms. Karin Kellersutter joining us today, and I think she has a message for you. I would like to talk with you in St. Gallen from angesicht to angesicht. sprechen. Das not jetzt nicht und ich bedauere das sehr. Denn zusammenkommen, sich treffen, sich mit anderen austauschen, das hat einen großen Stellenwert. Die Realität der letzten Wochen hat uns beigebracht, wie viel dank Digitalisierung möglich ist, praktisch in allen Lebensbereichen. Ich hoffe, das bringt einen nachhaltigen Schub. Denn wir brauchen jetzt einen Schub, um nach dem Stillstand wieder richtig in Fahrt zu kommen. Die Digitalisierung wird nicht alles lösen. Es braucht mehr als Technik. Es braucht weiterhin Gefäße wie das St. Gallen Symposium, damit Politik, die Wirtschaft, die Gesellschaft über Grenzen und Generationen hinweg den Dialog pflegen können. Ich freue mich, das im nächsten Jahr mit Ihnen in St. Gallen nachholen zu können. Thank you, Miss Federal Councillor. We're really excited to welcome you next year. This was the first of several messages that we want to share with you today. Before we enter the site, let's check in at the welcome desk. Everything from setting up the venue, limousine service, or serving drinks is student run. Hi, if you need anything, just hit me up. Thanks, Leslie. Our 450 student volunteers really make the symposium unique. Most of us are living through a once-in-a-lifetime global crisis. We have seen over 30 million unemployment claims in the U.S. That's almost 20% of our workforce. And we knew that any recession was bound to hit those that were most vulnerable with increased severity. The optimists among us tell us never waste a crisis for positive change. Now the reality is that positive change doesn't happen naturally. And fear is a very dangerous ingredient in policy making, more so when it comes to preserving our freedoms. So if we are going to make this a moment of coming together for positive change, then we're gonna to need to work together, to dialogue, to build consensus. And consensus comes when we put ourselves in each other's shoes. And that is what the St. Gallen Symposium has been about since its founding. So I look forward to seeing many of you in a year. And for all of us, we still have a lot of work to do. I'll have a beer as well, please. Oh, hi there. I'm just taking a break. Why don't you have a look inside? We are at a pivotal moment. We are witnessing a geopolitical uncertainty that we have never seen in decades. At the same time, we are also seeing many industries coming together. So despite all the noise, I am confident that it will make way for a world that is more integrated and vibrant. But this needs to be shaped. Shaping this will require a new foundation to be built that is based on trust. 
But building trust is not about having legal contracts. We know that it is about doing right by others. We are trying to solve the 21st century problems with the 19th century apparatus. We need to build new systems. The new generation has to be brought together in order us to dialogue better and prepare ourselves for the new age that we are about to enter. Knowledge is the mother of experience. Experienced and open-minded people are naturally influenced by each other's views, nationally and internationally, and are required to focus on a strong and unified view after analyzing and designing these ideas. There you are. I see you had good company. But now let's hurry up. The next interactive session is starting in a couple of minutes.